Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you inside the war room with the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible targets to fill those needs. But first, let's take a look at the upcoming selections the Eagles have in this year's draft. Contrary to popular belief, I do believe the Eagles have a very talented roster, more so than what their 2012 record indicates. So Chip Kelly inherits a very talented roster and a lot of selections to improve that roster. So when you look at some of their team needs, not necessarily in any order, the Eagles are sitting pretty wherever they select in the draft and they have a bevy of selections. So let's take a look at their seven round mock draft starting in the first round, pick number four. And I think they go with Star Low to Laley out of Utah. Love the way this guy plays the game. I think he's an ideal five technique. Has the strength at the point of attack with some quickness to beat those guards and get pressure on a quarterback. In round two, I have the Eagles taking Barcavius Mingo, outside linebacker from LSU, and I'm gonna tell you why I have him falling in the second round. Yes, I know he will go in the first round, but I don't grade him out as a first round impact type of player. To me, a first round player has to be involved on a lot of plays, and Barcavius Mingo, while talented, tends to run himself out of a lot of plays a la O.C. Yumanyura. But in the second round, it makes a lot of sense, especially for a team looking for a guy that can play in that 3-4 defense as just an edge rusher. In round three, I have the Eagles addressing the interior offensive line. I'm a big fan of Brian Winters and what he brings to the table. Play in an explosive offense for Kent State, and I think he'll do fine in that spread attack that Chip Kelly loves to run. Another interior offensive lineman that can help the Eagles right away, Brian Schwenke out of Cal 6'3", 314. I love this guy's potential, did a great job down there in Mobile at the Senior Bowl. In the fifth round, the Eagles get another one of my favorite players in the Cal Roby. Ignore his size at 5'8", 175. The guy is fast, reminds me a lot of Kevin Mathis, active cornerback involved in a lot of plays and has solid ball skills. The Eagles have four selections in the seventh round, and I think this can be a great opportunity to build that depth within their roster. Joe Kruger played in a 3-4 defense for the Utes, played that five technique position. And I think he can excel at the next level, provides outstanding depth on that defensive line. And when you look at John Boyette, played for Chip Kelly in college, has to overcome the injury concerns. This guy can grade out as a second round prospect, just has to stay healthy. Vince Williams inside linebacker presence in that 3-4 defense has the ability to stop the run. I like this fit for Philadelphia. And looking at Ricky Wagner on that offensive line, 6'6", 306, right tackle, definitely has the athleticism that you need at that tackle position for a Chip Kelly type coach team. Now let's recap the Eagles seven round selections. You see where the focus was, defensive line, offensive line. I think that's where the Eagles have to get better. We know they have skilled players. They did a great job in signing a lot of secondary players as far as corners and safety. So they don't need frontline starters. They just need the depth. But I think the Eagles can build with this and find themselves in the thick of the NFC East race. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Eagle Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.